This is the Benro 35C, a tall but lightweight carbon fiber center columnless tortoise tripod. Yes, a tortoise. It was sent to me just last week, but I'm not being paid to say anything good or bad about it. I've had a good look at it. I'm going to take it out into the hills today, give you a bit of a summary, a bit of a review, and tell you why I chose this specific tripod. It comes with this pretty little hand carry bag that I'll almost certainly never use again. The main reason for choosing the 35C as my new tripod is the tortoise mode. More on that shortly. Other than that, I needed a tripod that was tall enough, strong enough, sturdy enough. A tripod that could take a mirrorless camera and a few kilograms of lens options. The 35C has a 15 kilogram payload capacity and it's lightweight at just 1.9 kilograms. It has a maximum height of 156 centimeters, plenty tall enough for me, but it folds down to just 56 centimeters due to this five section leg. Perfect for hiking around with or sticking on your backpack. I needed a tripod that was quick to set up, quick to adjust. I've been using the Manfrotto 055 for many years. That tripod has quick release levers on all of the legs. The Benro has twist locks which I was a little bit hesitant about. I've avoided them for years, but Benro have done a great job with this. They have these quick release twist locks that go from locked to unlocked in about a quarter of a turn. They're big, thick, chunky rubber that can easily be operated with gloves. I think Benro have done a good job there top marks. Benro sell the tortoise range with different options, different heights and different ball heads. This came as a kit. I chose the GX35, one of their bigger ball heads, a photo ball head. It seems pretty robust. It's dual panning. It has a bubble on the top and this quick release mechanism for the camera. It's hard to know what the quality will be like until you've used it a few thousand times and bashed it around in the mountains. But I tend to think that photo ball heads are just photo ball heads. It's not the important part of this tripod. If it's no good, I'll just swap it out. The ball head comes with this Swiss style camera plate, which has a locking pin front and back that work with the ball head's locking mechanism. This is a really nice feature. Simply clips on. And if it were to work loose during a long hike, it has front and back locking pins that I think you can trust, he says. So that's loose now. It's not falling off. Nice bit of reassurance for those long hikes when you want to carry it over your shoulder like I do. The main reason for choosing the 35C, however, tortoise mode. This tripod has no center column and the legs have been designed to extend fully upwards allowing you to achieve a very low lens height. 
This is a shot that I use quite a lot. This is the Manfrotto 055, my old trusty workhorse. The legs also extend out fully, but you'll see it fouls on the center column. What you can do if you do have a center column is rest the tripod on its side to get a low shot. Or you can buy replacement center columns short center column pieces and remove that one or you can hacksaw the center column off completely but it's a hassle it's a hassle and center columns are inherently unstable anyway for what i do i just don't need one they induce a little bit of vibration a little bit of wobble I never use one for time lapse, which is one of my main reasons for going out. And if I'm not going to use it, it's just there fouling the low shot and it's extra weight as well. The 35C comes in at £345, although I found it cheaper in a couple of places. I'll put the links in the description. It seems strong and stable, robust and well-made, high quality, although it's difficult to tell just how strong it will be until I've abused it in the mountains for a couple of years, bashing it off rocks and using it as an ice axe or a belay, which I definitely wouldn't do. That would be rather irresponsible. But it seems good, and it even comes with a five-year warranty. So to summarize the 35C from Benro against my 055 from Manfrotto, this old trusty workhorse of many years, and perhaps the most popular tripod on the market, the 35C is shorter due to the lack of center column. It's lighter, it's a good kilogram lighter than the 055. It's probably more stable due to the lack of center column and having one less joint in the build. It's perhaps weaker due to the carbon fiber against the aluminium of my version of the 055. And I'm quite happy with these twist locks. Still not conclusive that they're going to be strong enough and they're going to live up to the beating that I'll undoubtedly give this tripod in the mountains over the next couple of years but I think what seals the deal for me is that it's a lot cheaper than the 055 for one and also it has the all-important tortoise mode shot that I'm going to make use of quite a lot